I call it or did I call it? Did I call it or did I call it? That is two for three on the prestigious boys. Jamar Chase, just in time, gets a brand new 90 overall most feared card. And guess what, boys? This is truly, literally the fastest wide receiver in the game. Faster than Tyree Kill. Faster than limited DeAndre Hopkins. He's the fastest wide receiver in the game with 91 base speed. Not to mention, he has amazing, for the rest of his stats, 93 jump is crazy high. 92 spectacular catch. His route runs are absurd. He's six foot 201. It was just last episode I said two different things. Number one, I said Jamar's outdated and I'm gonna bench him. And number two, I said Jamar's getting a new most feared card and it's paid off. I'm so excited to have this card. Now listen, I knew that we were going to get a Jamar at some point, but I didn't think he would be the fastest wide receiver in the game. I didn't expect him to be this good. I was thinking like, you know, 88 speed, probably a 90 overall stuff, but I just can't believe he's this good. I can't wait to use him. So half a million coins for Jamar. Jamar Chase is a prestige player, which means we are entitled to the best version possible at any given time. So completely free, we're getting this Jamar Chase and obviously I got to put abilities on him. This dude's got to get the rock. He gets deep out elite. It's such a good ability, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. I might use short in elite more. Obviously, it's important that we're beating man coverage. I'm going to give Jamar Chase short in elite so that we can hang on to those slants and drag routes against tough man coverage. This card is going to be so good. That's a lot of AP though. Three AP for short in elite is expensive. What would be the most galaxy brain 10 inch wiener 9,000 IQ play is there is a third wave of most feared, right? So wave one didn't give us anybody that we really could use. Wave two gave us, of course, Jamar Chase. But then what if wave three gave us a 90 overall Nick Bosa? I don't think this is out of the question at all. It's definitely possible. But with Jamar Chase, I was certain. I just knew that the NFL loves Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. They won't ever shut up about it. But I don't see as much about Nick Bosa. I see a lot of 49ers. I don't see a lot about Nick Bosa. So I don't know if he's getting a most feared card. It's up in the air. We do have a dilemma, though. So my wide receivers are nuts. George Pickens, Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase. And then Kyle Pitts is also my backup tight end. Do I leave it like this? I guess I do. And then we have this 87 Gabe Davis who I can move now to wide receiver for. I think what I'm going to do with Jamar Chase is I'm going to put him at my slot wide receiver. Right now, it's George Pickens. We'll switch that to Jamar Chase. It's just really important to me that Jamar Chase is always in a position to get as many reps as possible. Either way, I'm excited. Going into this first round of the playoffs. Now, keep in mind for the playoffs, I only get two wheel spins, but the wheel is slightly juiced. So we should be getting better wheel spins, but only two for the playoffs. My target positions. Honestly, most of the O-line, both of my guards could get an upgrade. My left tackle could get an upgrade. Other than that, I'm good on offense. On defense, I would definitely take a better middle linebacker. Welch has had some interceptions, but he is such a slow, clunky middle linebacker. I want somebody fast. I'd replace Rashawn Gary for sure. Danny Shelton's a gold still. Aiden Hutchinson is not an elite edge rusher. In real life, he is just not at this 82 overall. And Tyson Anderson, I would like your 81, not your 71. There's a lot of things we can add to this team. Also, I don't have a punter. I do have a kicker, but I don't have a punter. I should probably get one. Let's get it, boys! Brand new Jamar! We're starting out in the playoffs. It doesn't get much better than this, boys. Our first wheels... I said I could use a punter. Oh, but wouldn't I rather have a kicker though? Wait, no, I already have Justin Tucker. Why was Butker in? I got Justin Tucker a few episodes ago. So I guess we could get a punter. <laughs> I don't know why I still had Butker in when I have Justin Tucker, but the kicker jackpot. So here's the thing. There is actually a limited Justin Tucker. So I could upgrade my Justin Tucker to like the super limited Justin Tucker. Who is the best punter in the game? Oh my God. There's a 90 overall. Johnny Hecker with what ability? Wait a minute. Is he like a sub quarterback? Like you could play him as quarterback. 77 throw power. 83. Sh oh wait for fakes. Oh my God. This puncher was built for fakes. Johnny Hecker, the trickster. It's an Arcana card. Oh my. God. Bro, this promo is most feared and they're dropping fucking fullbacks and punters. I just spent 375,000 coins on a player that will literally likely never see the field. But he actually has good accuracy. So if I wanted to do a fake punt, he's the guy. And his ability to activate is fucking inside dead eye. Oh my God. Perfect pack Ooh. accuracy. Perfect pack. Oh! Someone euthanized me like a dog. I'm having a stroke. Perfect pass accuracy on throws inside the numbers. I had way too much pre-workout in the gym this morning, dude. I was having fucking heart palpitations. You ever take so much pre-workout that you think your heart's just gonna like 
crawl out and just start hitting on all the baddies in the gym. Oh my god, do you guys go to the gym? These girls are dressed like strippers in there. I tell you what, ladies, you're gonna dress like a stripper in the gym. I'm gonna stare. I'll watch your whole family eat dinner. <laughs> Like, we're at the strip club. I'm gonna sit up for my bench set. I'm gonna start throwing ones at you. I'm, a, I'm gonna ask for a lap dance. You wanna dress like that. It ain't my fault. Dude, look at the top five players on this team. Jamar, A-Train, Derwin, Captain Gronk. That's nasty. Our kicker, punter, jackpot lands me a 90. Overall, punter, Johnny Hecker. That's wild. Our second wheel spin! We're going most feared today, baby. 90 most feared random scroll. So, I mean, do I really need to explain what this is, guys? Like, are you actually that brain dead of a monkey that you don't understand what this wheel spin is? We're going 90 91. We're going most feared. And I'm going to randomly scroll till I land on someone. If I land on a player I already have, we get to go again. So, Jamar and Johnny Hecker are the only two I currently have. We're going to sort by time remaining. Here we go, boys. I'm going to spin. I'm going to stare Tito right in his eyes. Tell me when to stop, Tito. Tito, when you get to your peak, I'm stopping. Wait, no. When you close, Tito, I'm stopping. No! Oh! Yes! Anthony Walker was, I think it was literally the best case scenario. I said I wanted the middle linebacker. Yes! Dude, if he gets lurker, I might just bust. 89 speed, 90 x What the? F He's insane. He could keep up with anybody. Welcome to the team, my friend. He gets lurker. Oh my God, I could kiss you on the lips. He gets lurk artist. So here's what's crazy. This doesn't make any sense to me. So lurker, spectacular catch animations for lurking defenders. That's 2AP. Lurk artist, improved and spectacular picks for lurking defenders. So am I to understand that lurk artist is better than lurker and is less uh -huh. AP? I'm like 99% sure that is the case. Anthony Walker, my brand new user middle linebacker, obviously got to activate. Lurk Artist, we got to take one AP off of somebody to make room. We're going to take Lumberjack off of Derwin. I only put it there anyway just because I had the space for it. Wow, I really wanted to spend one AP on this. That's insane. The final thing is the challenge wheel, and the playoffs challenge wheel is extra juiced. Because if I complete it, I get one of any pack in the store. There are no limitations. And right now, there's this new currency called Treats, where I could get a 90 over Overall, most feared or arcana champion, I get to pick one out of a choice of three. So I could open this pack and take one player from it if I can complete my challenge wheel in the playoffs. This is why completing the challenge wheel in the playoffs is so big. But at the same time, it's very scary because if you go for the challenge wheel and lose, you're a bum and you get, my whole team gets reset. I don't get a prestige. So I'm gonna keep all that in mind as I get the challenge wheel here, but I love my team right now. I'm so excited for this first playoff game. Ooh. Ooh. This is a tough challenge because you need four. Four touchdowns is honestly a lot. And two of them have to be rushing. Two have to be passing. I feel like I can do that. Jamar Chase. Derwin J. You got to love when two out of the three top three is a prestige. Tua Metcalf Kittle. Starting every playoff game with a run. Got to settle the nerves. I'm going to follow the Vanguard studs to the promised land. Go A-Train. Go A-Train. Give me a juke. One more grunk. Oh my fucking god, I love this shit! 15 yards on the stretch, multiple pancakes, I'm horny! Ooh, that one was ugly. See, so that's that's an interesting thing to note, though. You see, Gronk there did not get a pancake. They need a head of steam in order to get the pancake. All right, second and 11, Gronk down the seam. You're a big boy, Gronk! I knew it. Whenever they jump that high up to get it, they always drop it when they come down. Third and 11, does he follow Gronk? Jamar was there. No. Shit, I really could punt, huh? I'm hoping this is the same defense. I can go to Jamar. Fourth and 11 in the playoffs. Zone. Jamar. Snag. Let's go. Jamar. First and 10, it's a good thing that's not Devin Witherspoon on him. Am I right, guys? <laughs> oh. Kyle Pitts, the wide receiver. That's a big boy. I'm never worried about him, like, fumbling or getting rocked super hard. Huge start, boys. Huge start. First and goal. A clutch fourth down conversion. Stretch it out. Mostert has never let us down. He's never let us down! Why did I ever get Bo Jackson? Come on, baby. Raheem Mostert. I must not have... Oh, come on! I'm going to get your ass to a fuck. He's got that so open. Okay. He had to dive to catch it, so no rack yards from the rack merchant. And I like this. Get there, Walker. Oh, I didn't get there, but Derwin's got him. Oh, now he passes. Now he passes for sure. Let's blitz. Yup. I got the tight end. No! 
Oh, that was such an awkward. George Kaler's outran everybody. Dude, that was such an awkward. Uh... Anthony Walker did like a pirouette. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know why he moved like that. Ooh. You're fucking kidding me. Yep. Good, Phil. Good enough, Phil. He's still got five yards. Damn. A lot of football left, but holy shit, that's annoying. Goes with another stretch, and that's going to go for a touchdown. Let's stop this. Get there, Derwin! Let's go! Hell of a tackle! He's going to do it again if he passes. Oh, I'll laugh my ass off. He'll make a mistake. He'll make a mistake! Let's go! Third and goal, Bosa! Now he's passing for sure. Yup. What? Look at how close I was. Oh, that's crazy though. What a bailout for him. That fucking interception. Just horseshit, man. Just need multiple routes. That's all. Oh, okay. Go into Jamar right there. He actually blitzed the DB that was over Jamar. I call him Lamar. He blitzed the DB that was over Jamar, which made him very open. Third and two. Power run. Usually you block that guy, but honestly, Moser got it anyway, so who cares? Ooh. Oh, it's, oh my god! Look at this run! 439 in the second, huge. Right in the middle, sit down, Kyle Pitts. We love that. First and 10. Oh, uh, okay. Jamar. Jamar's getting his reps in. Second and one. No huddle's killing him right now. I think inside zone catches him off guard. We float over the middle with the boy. Oh no, that did not catch him off guard, but we almost did it anyway. Hear me out. Hear me out because that looked like the bummiest pass ever. He ran commit. So I thought his whole team was flying up, but his DB stopped, dead stopped. But Malik Hooker still made the most. Oh, that was holy shit. Here we go, boys. Let's play some defense. First and 10. He's. Oh, I thought he'd do the stretch for sure. He can't hit halfback. Oh, it's a bad ball. I like it. I like it. Let's make him make a mistake. Let's shift. Oh, no. Wrong, wrong way. Shift the other way. Yes. Oh, here we go. Anthony Walker! Come on! Get up, Derwin! Fourth and ten! I think that was Derwin. I don't know. Throws! Oh, good switch on. I needed to be up and ready to blitz with Anthony Walker. And he's chewing clock. All right, buddy. Let's play ball then. Walter Payton gets grabbed by Sean Taylor, second and six. Guessed it! No way, I didn't get to him. I perfectly guessed that. Oh my God, and he's really gonna walk it in again with George Kittle. I gotta stay in zone, he's lighting this up. What a laser. <laughs> I like that a lot. Keep it simple. Would have been nice to get out of bounds, but we'll just no huddle this one. Does he adjust? I don't think so. The sit down route to Jamar. Almost got to that edge. Ooh, about the last thing we wanted. Gonna call a timeout. Second and 13, he gets home. Thank God I got rid of that ball. I'm taking the field goal right now. Hey, I could have upgraded Justin Tucker. So if I don't hit this, you guys can yell at me. I fucking drilled it. Doesn't matter. I have to come up with a stop. Dude, the stop that he had is such horse shit. Fucking a floater into Michael Barnes. There have been no turnovers in this game other than that. I've had him on fourth and 10 though. Oh my God, the divisional. 17 to 21, down four. Where the fuck are my halftime adjustments? Where are my halftime adjustments? What the fuck? I can't activate Lurk Artist? Am I stupid? Has there not always been halftime adjustments? That ball's in play. That's a safety if we tackle him. Oh my god! Dude, he's lighting me up! Huge hit from Derwin. He's got six passes for 180 yards and three touchdowns. I can't believe he's getting this kind of time. What the fuck? And that was two feet in? Well, you know what? It is Sean Taylor. I said I gotta stop running man, and here I am running man. Alright, let's do this. Let's just batten down the hatches. Let's play some zone. Dude, we can't play anything. <laughs> that was a sick move. We really can't play anything right now. It doesn't matter what I come out in. This is my opportunity to stop him. Get there, Sean T! He got some horseshit animation too, and we still stopped it. 
QB sneak. Oh, whoa, 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 that's wrong button. <laughs> she just hit the wrong button. Holy shit, I'm nervous. Oh, big switch up. That's more important. Gronk. Whipper. <laughs> oh, if he fucking slaps into a defender and can't get the ball, it's defensive pass interference. Oh, he was wide open. Take me home, Mostert. This is, this is crazy. Has he ran it out of this at all? He's gonna go, yep. I was just about to say. Let's go, third and 12. We gotta play this. Oh, no, what are you doing? Oh my God. Oh, it's Nick Bosa, oh, never mind. That was Nick Bosa, I don't know. Oh, I zoned, I did. I put Nick Bosa in his zone there. If we get this stop, corner out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh you fucking kidding me! In double coverage with my user right there! He doesn't even jump, he just sits there. Illegal touching. Fourth and goal. He's still not in. I technically can stop him again. It's like my eighth, fourth down. Wow, I am just getting robbed left and right. I'm playing a perfect fucking game. He's gonna go, um, he's gonna kill QB sneak. Oh, he's gonna pass. I didn't expect that at all. I, re I do respect that play. The rest of this shit, dude, I don't respect it at all. I'm getting fucking robbed. Laser beam. That's how you score quick. That's how you score quick. Kyle Pitts just took that man cover and said, get fucked. Oh, Derwin's got his unstoppable. His unstoppable um, enforcer. Second and eight. Man, if he just runs the clock out on me, it's gonna be such a depressing, depressing loss. That's crazy that we couldn't stop that. Just behind that. I don't even know why he's running. He should be kneeling. There's one turnover the entire game from either team, and it's Andrew Luck's ball, his pass, floating into Micah Parsons' hands. Not to mention 4th and 12, George Kittle coming down with it, with my user sit right in his face. Two, uh, 14 for 21, 333 yards, 66% completion, four touchdowns. Andrew Luck, 14 for 23, 252 touchdowns, and an interception. 21 for 100, Walter P. Moser, 7 for 65, 9.2. Amazing, amazing game from him. And two oh, I completed my challenge, Will. Two rushing touchdowns, two receptions. Receiving touchdowns. George Kittle didn't even have his X-Factor activated when he caught that ball. There's two things that determine this game. This, is, this game ends 32 to 35. There's two things that determine this game. This was the big one. Fourth and 12. Crazy, man. I knew exactly what he was running. I mirror it. I get up over here. Double covered. Anthony Walker refuses to jump, animate, do anything other than stare directly at the ball. Because not only was Lurk Artist not activated, but I couldn't activate it after half. Because the halftime adjustments aren't in for some reason. And Okuda is just going to Sit and watch. One foot down. Uh, no, his foot's down. His foot's down. He's in. And um, really, though, where this game was lost, doesn't even make sense. Physically, how does this make sense? Goes through his body, and somehow your hand goes through the ball without the ball moving? What? How? How does that happen? Your hand's inside of it right now. You know what, though, boys? By the way, GG's my opponent. That was an awesome game. I'm excited to get some redemption in season three. This doesn't happen in, in Wheel em Up very often, but the way this works is my team resets except for my prestigious, and we go start a new season. We get no prestige player. Oh, my God. I just figured it out. Oh, I just figured it out. I just fucking figured it out. I did activate Lurk Artist. I activated Lurk Artist on Anthony Walker, but you know what I did after that? I put Anthony Walker at sub linebacker, and when you sub someone into sub linebacker, it deactivates their abilities. Watch, ready? I'm a sub Derwin into sub linebacker. I'm a sub Anthony Walker into sub linebacker. Now let's go look at our defense. No abilities are activated. Oh, I don't even care about Lurk Artist though. The reason I lost that game is because that stupid fucking fumble. We both played perfect. We both had a perfect game. I think the most important thing to remember here is I completed my challenge wheel. Now when you complete your challenge wheel, you could do one of two things. You could open any pack in the store or you could salvage a player. So at the start of next episode, which will be a fully wiped team, 
I could keep Anthony Walker. Now, Anthony Walker played like shit in that game, but Anthony Walker didn't have Lurk Artist, so I almost want to give him a second chance. Or I guess I could keep Johnny Hecker, but you can bet your sweet ass I'm not doing that shit. Or I could kick both those guys to the curb, and I could open one pack in the store, and I would probably end up opening this pack. I'd get my choice of one of three most feared, and honestly, I could end up with Anthony Walker anyway. So that challenge wheel, which I didn't even purposely complete that. It just happened that way. That could be so massive, but um, damn boys. I'm really sorry, gentlemen. I wish I could have clutched that game up for y'all. I wish I could have got that stop on fourth and 12 and marched down the field and won it all. All right, gentlemen, I'll tell you this much. I love you guys so much, and the only thing that I want to do every single day is make the best fucking content possible. I want you to be so locked into this shit. So I'm gonna channel all that energy. I'm gonna take it right into season three with me, and hopefully we'll have some more amazing games to look forward to. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you in season three. Peace.